Now, I'm going to assume that you've seen Prometheus, or don't really give a shit and just like listening to me talk. In which case, you sick bastard. I'm also going to assume that you've at least seen my Bone Kickers reviews. I saw Prometheus on its first showing where I was. I was in a packed screening at a midnight showing, and I think you can all guess about how disappointed I was. But you don't realize how I was already sowing the seeds for this video. Within five fucking minutes of the film starting, I was, in my mind, referring to Sean Holloway as Magwild and Manwild. They were archaeologists who were powered by insane theories and faith, and they were partially proved right. When all logic and reason should have bitch slapped them down to something not connected with archaeology. Mime, maybe. But in the years since, I've been expanding on my bone kicker's ideas. Every main character in that show has an analogue in the film. You don't believe me? Well, here we go! Magwild and Manwild are pretty obvious, but the weird thing is that they're both different parts of TV Magwild. Magwild is her faith and her belief in the crazy shit that she calls theories. Sometimes you have to take a leap of faith. But how do you know? Hmm? I don't. But it's what I choose to believe. Manwild is the petulant, angry, childish and dismissive parts of Magwild, and she had them in fucking spades. Get out! You're fired. He's also Magwild's tendency to make dangerously stupid decisions on no evidence. Do not remove your head here. Woo! While Magwild is her tendency to make safe stupid decisions. I think they want us to come and find them. Put them together and you'll get a two-headed intersex monster beast doomed to live a freakish half-life and wonder when someone will finally put them out of their misery. So, just like Magwild from Bone Kickers then. Dolly Parton is the second most famous character on Bone Kickers. He's British, gruff, blunt, non-PC, and most of all, prone to working while under the influence of a drug. I'll just put the kettle on. Is that tobacco in your respirator? <clears throat> yeah, sure. He also donated a century-old cognac bottle to celebrate the signing of the Entente Cordiale, which you drank. Hmm. Possibly the single least likely thing in Bone Kickers is that Parton was never turned into a space zombie. And please don't tell me that you can't see Parton getting so drunk that he gets lost in a cave system that he would perfect maps for. Because I sure as hell can! The captain is clearly Erga. I mean, he's the mainly sensible, decent black guy who's just trying to do his job and not get involved in any unprofessional, zany shit. A guy that no one listens to because the rest of his team are incompetent, unstable, or drug-addled on the fucking job. Viv Davis, a woman who causes drama when she interacts with the rest. Someone to a certain extent out of her depth. Someone way more sensible than anyone called Magwild. And most importantly, someone with massive parental issues. Father. My adoptive parents were the best. The very best. <laughs> She'll always be your mum more than mine, but that doesn't hide the fact that... That leaves Wayland or David or even the engineer as Daniel Mastiff. If you squint, he could be any of them. Incompetent and self-important, camp and antagonistic, or secretly a giant bald albino. The whole plot to Prometheus is kicked off by some archaeologists finding some really fucking flimsy evidence and being powered by pure, unscientific belief. You could say that aliens aren't quite in Magwild's wheelhouse when her usual shit was the True Cross, buried slave ships on Joan of Arc. But really, you think that if there was a season 2 they wouldn't have hit the Eric von Deineken Chariots of the Gods shit? Because I'm pretty sure they woulda. So they're really respected archaeologists with no right to be fucking either. With a career strong enough to net them a fairly prestigious job with either the Whaling Corporation or Bath University. Yeah, Bath University isn't as impressive, but Magwild avoided prosecution for helping burn a celebrity. Clearly she has some sort of sway. Or a naked photo of the Queen. So they have their archaeological adventure, they make the world's greatest discovery and evidence so flimsy that they may have forced science to redefine the word evidence. And rather than hold on to that victory and enjoy the years of work and adulation that would come with it, they either get drunk and annoy a robot into experimenting on them, or they just rush off to France because the True Cross meow, gives a fuck. While on the adventure, they collectively make elementary mistakes, prefer faith over evidence, be blasé about the shit they find, and destroy random artifacts that they come across. In fact, the biggest difference between Prometheus and a film adaptation of Bone Kickers is that they got what they deserved in Prometheus. People that collectively stupid should have put their spacesuits on inside out and exploded. So it was nice of most of them to fucking die. Now Prometheus is crap, but maybe, just maybe, its glaring issues can be forgiven if you see the film as I do. As an adaptation of Bone Kickers where we get the catharsis of seeing half of Magwell burned to death. 
Urga exploded, pardon get acid in his face, turn into a zombie, set in fire, and run over. Now please, 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 for the love of Jehovah, may we go to the first And Viv crushed because she forgot that the third dimension existed. Now let's hope that in the sequel, Magwell tries talking to a hole and is torn in half by something for daring to be named after the third doctor's best fucking companion. You are not fucking worthy of being called Liz Shaw. Yeah!